<laughs> the reason why I wanted to do this video, Joshua, yeah. is because in the BuzzFeed universe, you are this action-y, star, muscle-strong guy. And people will always ask me questions because they, they know that we've known each other for a while. Yeah, yeah. And they're mm. very surprised to learn that you used to be a husky kid. You know, back then we called it fat kid. I don't know if that's PC, but being a former fat kid, I'm still part of the club, so I feel like I can use that yeah. language. So can I ask you some yeah. questions about you being a former fat kid? Yeah, let's, let's get okay. into it. Ready to take us to the timeline. Timeline, here we go. So about seven, I think, was when I started to get kind of chubby. And from that point on, I kind of just embraced it. I was like, well, all right then, I'm gonna be chubby. So I would eat my lunch, and then I would sit there and wait until friends or other people were done, and then I would eat their lunches also. They would call me the trash can, because they would be like, hey, trash can, here's mine. And I'd be like, bring it on. I could like grab my stomach fat, and like, I would make like faces out of it, and like, entertain them. Wait, did that make you feel bad at all? It was like a role. I stepped into it and took ownership of it because it was an identity almost, where yeah. people were like, well, at least they're like, you know, noticing me. And also at that time when I was seven too, it was like, you know, divorce, new school, didn't know anybody. So I'm like the loner new kid there. So I'm just gonna embrace whatever my yeah. brand is. So yes, it became a thing that I remember when I weighed 100 pounds in third grade and the lady weighed me was like, oh. And then to top it off, to make things worse. Your dad was like a bodybuilder, wasn't he? Oh, oh yeah, let me just say, the family that I was born into on both sides, now I'm born, <laughs> I'm, I'm half black and I'm half white. You get to see both sides of my family and my genetics are fantastic. Huge blessing. My uncle played in the NBA. My other uncle was a like a power lifter. Studs, studly yes. men. I was the fat kid, it was me. So I did not fit in. My brother Jason had the best abs in our high school. He was like known to, at least that's the way I heard it from other people. And there would be like girls and even some dudes would be like, yo, your brother's abs are like that. Why aren't yours like that? That would drive me crazy. Oh, and then I'm just sitting there in class like, I don't know. When kids would make fun, my brother wouldn't go hard on it. He might kick it off like playfully with me, knowing, saying something that he knows isn't gonna bother me, mm -hmm. but he says it in front of this group and then it turns into all of a sudden 10 people are making fun of me. Yep. And he wouldn't say anything to stop it. He'd be there laughing and almost egging it on. But that hurt and that was hard. Luckily, we're best friends now. We've, we've gotten over that. So are there any notable memories you have from your formative fat years? <laughs> yeah. The lack of comfort in my own skin. Always, you know, doing doing this. Yeah. Because you don't want your shirt to stick too tightly to your your rolls or anything. Yeah. By the time I got to high school, I would wear these these like tight undershirts that were like extra tight, so they would kind of hold everything yeah, in like under. Spanks. Like almost, yeah. Yeah. I was I was head of the game. I was spanking before. Okay, that's not that's, that's not what we that's not what we anyway anyway moving on. It was funny as I got older was when it started the conversations and the comments started to come more. To be honest with you, yeah. I don't like that it happened, but I cussed out or yelled at almost every member of my immediate family, or my dad, my mom, even my grandmother, because of something they said about my weight when I was in that place. They all said things that were so hurtful. They didn't mean to though, they were looking out for me and it, it weighed on me, but I was so broken and insecure that I didn't know what to do with that, so I just kept eating. There are people that treated you a certain way when you were heavy and then a different way when you lost weight. By the time I started losing weight, yeah, you think of everybody that's ever said anything to you. It creates a little bit of bitterness, you know? And it's a weird thing to, to go from one thing to the other and see people's reactions that have known you the entire time. It was a sobering feeling. I remember being at this party and expecting to feel really good about it. Yeah. Like, look at me now, look at the attention. Yeah. And the attention that I got was cool, but even though that's what I wanted when I got it, it didn't feel good. Because you knew it wasn't, you're like, I haven't really changed, just the outside has. And all of a sudden I'm being treated completely different to see girls mm. that wouldn't give you the time of day before. All of a sudden, wow, my jokes are funny now. That's interesting. Yeah, your jokes are never funny. That's, damn it. <laughs> I empathize on the full spectrum of what it's like to be a heavy person because the hardest part is actually taking that first step towards it. Oh, it feels so far away. It's and daunting. then after the first workout, you're like, that was just the first. I have this much further to go, are you kidding me? Even that first week of a diet, you feel miserable, it's so hard, which is why I got to a place where I had to make it just a part of my lifestyle and it wasn't a diet for six weeks. It wasn't a workout program for six weeks. It's like, no, this is what I do daily. This is my routine and you have to build it in. I'm not afraid that I'm going to- Wake up unhealthy? Yeah, wake up unhealthy and like my lifestyle is gonna change. It's not a fear, it's almost just like, there's no way I'm going back. It's that thing too of once you taste it, the attention that you get, 
when people see you, your new body, right? So then you're kind of not, you're not necessarily even running away from this thing. You're, you're making sure like, I want to keep getting this. Eventually the compliments and the adoration you get from like mm -hmm. this new body, yeah. you realize how much is shallow and doesn't really matter and doesn't really tie into who you are as a person. Yeah. That's when you find the balance and say, I do this for me. Mm -hmm. I eat healthy because that's what feels good and what I know I should do. Mm -hmm. I work out because I enjoy it, mm -hmm. because I get to challenge myself and make myself better every single day. Mm -hmm. That's why I do those things now. Mm -hmm. Back then it came from having a chip on my shoulder and being insecure and feeling like I had something to prove. Now I'm mm -hmm. proving nothing to anybody except myself. I look at the experience that I went through of being a fat kid as a blessing because it helped to connect with people in a different way and to have empathy for people that are going through things when you've gone through that. Yeah. You have to learn how to find your self-value in a different way than people that haven't gone through that. People almost put you in a place when you're a fat kid and kind of be like, this is where you are on the, on the totem pole, okay? And so you have to get yourself out of that mentality and break free of that. Yeah. Which is why you just have to find that confidence and self-love yeah. without anybody else and know who you are, know what you have to offer, because otherwise you're, you're letting other people determine your happiness and that's the easiest way to not being happy. So I just want to say to all the kids out there, like, yo, if you're, if you're kind of fat, if you're overweight, if you're uncomfortable about the way you look in some way, you are loved, you are appreciated even when you don't know that it's there, I promise you. That's one of the crazy things, so even in the midst of me being like chubby and overweight and, and really, really insecure, I was always confident about myself. I didn't understand why it was such a big issue that I was fat, because I, I was like, but I'm awesome. Why does it matter? You're still like that. I am, I am like yeah. that. <laughs>